Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. We are uh, sticking with the dark morning theme here, I see. And uh, uh, today the assembler one writes in saying that he's been watching Jacob Sorber. And um, Jacob Sorber says that beginners should not use IDEs um, when programming because then they don't learn how their tools work. And what do I think about that? So uh, thank you for the question, and uh, thank you for introducing me to Jacob Sorber. Seems like a good guy with good intentions. Um, and uh, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. If you want to check that out, he's a teacher, I think, talking about C programming, which, you know, some people like C programming. Uh, so what do I think about this issue about beginners using an IDE? Um, I think it, it, this is this type of thing that falls into the category of overthinking for beginners, in my opinion. Because when you are a beginner programmer, the thing that you want to do to progress is write code. And it's, it, it doesn't matter if you use a text editor and the command line or if you use the biggest, fanciest IDE in the world. What matters is just writing code and lots and lots of code and uh, writing programs, testing your programs, fixing your bugs, um, reading code, and just learning new concepts. And the tools are not so important. And it, it reminds me of if you've ever been in like uh, weightlifting discussions on the internet, <laughs> then you know how there are always these young guys who come in and they've been lifting weights for like a month and then they have these weirdly specific questions that are like don't matter for them yet like like well i'm doing a deadlift and should i use a double overhand grip or a mixed grip and it literally does not matter you should just lift weights <laughs> you know um and i think it's the same with worrying about your tools when you have been programming for a short time uh, you should just write code. You should write programs, run your programs, debug your programs. And it doesn't matter how you do it or it doesn't matter what tools you use because anything that you do is going to make you better at this point. Um, and that's a lovely period to be in. And in fact, I would probably say that whichever tool makes you the most comfortable um, so that you do more of the code writing and more of the more of the everything, that's the one you should be using. And if you like a text editor and the command line, then use that. And if you feel comfortable in the IDE, use that. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Um, I personally started out using, uh, I mean, the very first thing I was using was GW Basic, which um, it was not the command line. It was, it was sort of an IDE, but it was a long time ago, and it was a DOS program, and it was more like an interactive basic interpreter. I don't know what to call that, really. Eh. Anyway, uh, but, but like later on, I, I spent so much time in Visual Basic, which is clearly an IDE, uh, and I managed to do just fine, even though I was starting out in those types of environments, and I didn't use a command line tools until I was maybe 17, 18, uh, and I wandered into Linux programming. Um, before that, I was in Windows pressing F5 to compile and run or whatever. <laughs> um, but everyone's different, and the important thing really is to just do lots of programming write lots of code. Whatever makes you write lots of code, that's the thing you should be doing. Um, and I think, now I, I don't want to say that the argument is bad, because it's not that it's bad, it's just that it's overthinking, I think. Um, it's There's some truth to how an IDE can help you with some things that you would otherwise uh, learn in a different way. So an IDE can, can give you hints that your syntax is off, 
um, through visual cues and like uh, like color changes and stuff, and, and it can even point to you exactly at what you need to change. Uh, and likewise, you start typing something and it might suggest something instead of forcing you to remember uh, what the thing is that you're looking for. And, you know, there's, there's pros and cons to both of these things, right? Um, and I know that some people feel strongly that you need to uh, walk before you run and whatever, but um, I think that either way is fine. So just do whatever comes naturally. Because the chances are that you're just going to try something different later on anyway. Like, it, it, it really seems that normally what happens after you get very comfortable with your tools, then at some point you just get this urge to try something different. So you switch up whatever you were doing. So if you start with an IDE, then maybe you go and, and try living the command line way for a while, and vice versa if you started with a command line. And yeah, you'll, you'll get to see it eventually, which, whichever path you take, so it's gonna be okay. And don't worry so much about your deadlift grip, because, um, you know, just, just get to pulling two plates at least before you start worrying too much. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> I guess those are my thoughts about that. So thanks for asking the question. And um, thanks for hanging out with me on the commute. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.